all praise to the Most High. First and foremost, as always, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh. We do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Amashiach, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls uh, God and Jesus Christ. All right, you are looking at the true Israelites of the Bible, the true children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we come out here to prophesy the downfall of America. We also come out here to, to tell our people and to warn our people how to get true salvation. You got multiple camps out here. You got multiple organizations out here that choose this truth to our people and our people only, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And it's high time to come back to your God-given heritage and your God-given nationality because you're not black. You're not a, a property of Spain, and you're not uh, some sort of uh, Latino or, or, or a Native American. All right, it's our job to come out and warn you how to get the truth, man. Give me Acts uh, 9 and 15. Right, give me Acts 9 and 15. You give me Revelation 18 and 2. And we're going to start it, and we're going to do this thing properly. Because the Israelites have the gospel. Con? Come on. The Israelites have the true meaning of how to get the salvation. Con? Come on. The Israelites know how to get to the kingdom of heaven. Con? Come on. All praise to the most high. Hey, what you got, King? This is Acts 9 and 15. But the Lord said unto him, uh -huh. Go thy way. He said, what? Go, Go thy way. way. We came from all over. And we came to come and, and prophesy the downfall of this wicked nation called America, a.k.a. Babylon, right. a.k.a. Sodom, a.k.a. Gomorrah, Egypt, and, 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 and Greece and Rome. All right, read again. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, uh -huh. for he is chosen vessel. Are you looking at God's chosen vessels to give you this truth, black man? Come on. For he is a chosen vessel unto me. Unto who? Unto me. Unto the Most High God. And to his son, Jesus Christ, whose real name is Yahweh Shai. Read. To bear my name before the Gentiles. To bear his name before who? Before the Gentiles. That's all you other nations out there that do not qualify and quantify to have rulership in heaven. Right. We're going to bear the name of Yahweh Shai to prophesy the downfall of the East Indian, right. the Arab, right. the African, right. the Chinese, right. the Japanese. Right. Come on. And kings. And who? And, and kings. King. And we right here in front of the king's doorstep. Yeah, we on your doorstep. And we're going to bear the record of Yahweh Shai saying that your, that your house, this nation is going to fall and it's going to burn. And we pray to see that. We fast and we pray to see the downfall of America, man. And all the nations that has drunk off the blood of America. Let Come on. Right. And the children of Israel, and the children of Israel, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Negroes, you don't know who you are. Nobody's black. Nobody's white. We have 18 different nations that God created. Who are you? We are here to tell you who you are according to this book. Mm. We are. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. And you know what? The black man has to suffer for the name's sake of his own, his own kingdom, man. The so-called Chinese man don't have to suffer. The East Indian don't have to suffer. They got crime bills. They got hate bills passed for them. Right. Here in America, we have nothing. That's and right. we built this nation. Right. And they want you to vote. They want your vote to matter. And like the elder priest was saying earlier, this is a wicked nation. And when you vote, you're aligning yourself mm. with the ways of this nation. You're aligning yourself with the agenda of America. Right. Come on. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. And Ananias went to him. That's it on that, right? Read what you got, King. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, Come on. verse 2. Uh -huh. And he cried mightily. He did what? He cried mightily. And we out here crying mightily. Right. We in a mighty spirit out here right. in Washington, D.C., right. the capital of Sodom and Gomorrah. Come That's on. Right. That's right. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. And we out here with a strong voice. We don't need no mics. That's right. We use the mics just to amplify our voice, but we have the sound of many waters like Yahabashah had, man. Right. Yahabashah had a mighty powerful voice. And all the black men up in this voice, in this area, and all the Latinos in this area, and all the Native Americans had that same voice. That's right. Come on. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, Come on. saying, Babylon he the said, Great, what? Babylon the Great. What is America? Babylon, Babylon the, the great. great. America is Babylon the Great. And when you vote, you align yourself with Babylon the Great. Come on. Babylon the Great is full. What is America? It is full. America's gonna fall for the rape, rob, and murder is done to the Native American. The rape, rob, and murder is done to the black woman and the black man. The rape, rob, and murder is done to the Hispanic man. Come on. And it's become the habitation. It's become what? The habitation. And it's become the habitation. The people that live here, right, are the habitation of devils. Come on. Of devils. That means he deceived. They deceived you with this white man named Jesus Christ, whose real name is Caesar Borgias, man. 
Come on. And the hole of every foul spirit. Uh -huh. And a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And the unclean and hateful bird goes to the inferior people of America, the so-called white man. Right. Like the elder said, when you have a nation where it has UFC and they have to have all these rules to try to beat up on the black man, right. then you have showed yourself to be inferior. That's right. Come on. For all nations. For what? For all nations. Yes, that's right. The East Indian nation, right? right? Sri Lanka, Bangladesh. Right, the Chinese nation, the Japanese nation. Right, when you go to uh, the east, uh, the, the middle, the so-called Middle East, because there's no Middle West. We just say the Middle East to cover up the right. true area of what that's called. Right, all nations. That's all you other nations have done. What have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication? And you know what you've done? You had the black man in subjection since the lot since since the times of Jesus Christ. Right, right. You have drunk off the rind of the wrath of your fornication. Anytime they ask you to vote, that's fornication by this word of this book, man. Right. Anytime they ask you to go out there and cast your vote, it don't matter. Right. Guess what? The Most High God has his next candidate that's going to win. That's right. This is not even up to the Rothschilds. It's not even up to the so-called Illuminati. Right. It's up to the Most High God, man. Right. Yahweh has picked his president already to further his agenda. That's right. And that's going to put this nation in civil war. America is going to come in the Civil War, and it's time for the black man to align himself and gather himself together. It's time for the so-called Latino man to gather himself together and learn who he is truly according to this book, man. Come on. And the kings of the earth, and the kings of the earth, the Kim Jong-uns, right? Your so-called Prince Charles and Prince Henry, right? Your Kamala Harris's, and all the people that is against the Most High God. You are an infidel to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Come on. And the kings of the earth uh -huh. have committed fornication and with you, and you commit fornication by aligning yourself with America. When, when did you cast a vote and your life got better, black man? Right? Because when the white man casts his vote, his agenda is established. Right. But when have you cast your vote and they said, hey, no more hanging black men in America. No more hanging black women in America. No more cutting pregnant babies out of our women's wombs, man. When have you done that? It's never happened. All you did was align yourself with the ways of America and hope for something to happen. Come on, King. And the merchants of the earth uh -huh. are waxed rich. And everybody's gotten rich off the lives of America. And guess who perpetuates, and who guess who's established America? You're looking at them right here. Right. Every nation the black man went to has become a better uh, nation when we become and, 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 and raised it up. Right, uh, look at Egypt, look at Greece, look at uh, uh, Rome. Look at Assyria. Look at Babylon. Every time you had the black man in captivity, then that nation has actually risen, right? Because God's chosen people is right here, and you're looking at the true children of Israel. Man. Come on. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Come on. And I heard another voice from heaven. From where? From heaven. And you're looking at the true angels of the Most High God saying this. Ready? Say. Come out of her. What did he say? Come, come out, out of, of her. her. Well, we got to teach our people. Come, come out, out of her. her. We got to have our people come out of the ways of America. Your vote is never going to count, black man. Stop trying to align yourself with an inferior race. Bruh. You tried the rest, now try the best. Read. Come out of her, my people. All people. My people. My people. All people. My people. He says, come out of her, my people. God has a chosen people, then it's not the Arab. God has a chosen people, it's not the Chinese. God has a chosen people, it's not the stinking African, man, right? God's chosen people is you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the white man's going to pay for what he's done to our people. Right. Thus saith the Lord. Right. If you believe in a just God, then you got to believe that God is going to and is going to actually get his pay payback for what you've done to his people. Right. Read. Come out of her, my people, Come on. that ye be not partakers of her sin. And it's a sin to vote here in America. God said it's a sin. Give me Numbers 27, 16. Hold what you got. Right? Read what you got, King. This is Jeremiah 14 and 2. 17 and 4. So lock in. This is Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself. We were saying earlier, the real Jew, the, the real Jew does not know who he is. And the Bible prophesied that the real Jews were going to discontinue from their heritage. The Bible says that the real Jew is not going to know his language. Right? right? Give me, uh, hold that. Give me Psalms 135 and 12. I'm going to show you what a true heritage is. Read what you got. The book of Numbers, 
chapter 27, verse 16. Let the Lord, let the Lord, let the Most High God, Yahweh, come on, the power of the spirits of all flesh, set a man, set a man, set a man, set a man, not no woman, come on, set a man over the congregation. So the congregation has to be said by a man, yes? The congregation must be led by men, correct? See, the Most High God set it up to where the nation of Israel is a patriarchal society, meaning by men. Men lead it because men are not emotional. Right? You get that woman in the White House, she's going to nuke every nation because she's not feeling good. She's emotionally driven, and we're going to be in World War III sooner than later. I hope the Most High puts her in, 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 in office. Because she's going to she's going to speed up the captivity, I mean the deliverance of the nation of Israel, man. Right? Read what you got. There's a Psalm 135 and 12. And gave their land for inheritance. Gave their what? Gave their land for inheritance. The land and the heritage is the same thing. The so-called Negro has no idea who he's from. The so-called Negro has no language. The so-called Negro has no flag. The so-called Negro has no representative in the United Nations. Right. The so-called Negro has nowhere to go because the Bible said this, read it again. This is Psalms 135 and 12. Come on. And gave their land for inheritance. So your inheritance is the land. Now let's go right back to Jeremiah 17 and 4. Uh. Let's go right back to it because, listen, I can ask 10 black people, right, ne ne Negroes, I can ask 10 African Americans who you are and I'm gonna get 10 different answers, right? right? I can ask one person from China, 10 people from China where you from and they're gonna give me who they come from, the stock of their fathers, right? Read what you got, King. This is Jeremiah 17 and four. And listen, if I'm lying, come and tell me that I'm lying and prove all things that the Bible said. Read what you got, King. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. So the Bible says that you're going to discontinue from you are. Right now you're going to cleave to America that's with the white Messiah in your backs, man. That put a last name like Williams, Franklin, right? Jones, Livingston, all these different names. McAllister, the Irish name. Don't tell me that the Irish did not have slaves because why is there so many black people with the last name McAllister, Mc, McGowan, McGrady, right? McGrady. all these different, who's that? McGrady, McGrady. Oh, McNeil. McNeil, these are all Irish last names that they put on our people. Yes, the black man was under subjection of the Irish man. There's no indentured servitude that's worse than the slavery of America. Read what you're king. And thou, even thyself, hey, y'all come here to words, sisters. What's your nationality, if you don't mind me asking? West African. What tribe? What, what tribes y'all from? See, see, no one likes to discuss the nationality more than us. But the name, the number one culprit on having a dialogue is our own people, man. That's the number one enemy on having conversations about something that should be pride. I thought we had black pride. I thought we had something called black pride, but when it's time to talk about actual black pride and black issues, black folks don't care, man. Right? And that's why the Bible said you were going to discontinue from your heritage. We don't care. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And the Most High gave you the Hebrew tongue. The Most High gave you the language of, his, of our ancestors. We don't. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy. He said what? I will cause thee to serve thine enemy. Like the elder priest said earlier, how many so-called Negroes is right here on this lawn cleaning the so-called White House, man? How many so-called Negroes was on this lawn cleaning this so-called White House? And there's nothing white about the White House because white represents purity, innocence, and cleanliness. And there's nothing in there but the opposite. That's why it's become a habitation of who? Of devils. They deceive you, but it should be the black house. It should be the filthy house. That's right. Right? He said, what? And thy shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. And we don't know America. We don't know Turtle Island. We don't know this, this land mass. Right? We know Yasha Allah. We know Israel. That's the true Jews of the Bible is right here in America. Right? That's, the, that's what the Bible said. Whether you like it, love it, believe it or not. Some more on that? Yes. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger. And, and, and how do we kindle a fire in the, in the eyes of the Most High? Right? By worshiping other gods. Right. By voting. Right? By cleaving to America. Cleaving to Babylon. 
Right? I'm not jumping on no sinking ship. If I knew the Titanic was going to fall, I would not hop on that boat. Right? If anybody knew the Titanic, Titanic was going to sink in the bottom of the Atlantic, you would hop off that boat. The Bible said the same thing. Come out of her, my people, and be not partakers of her sins. That's right. Right? Precept? Bring it up. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Come on. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Say what? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. We're going to serve our enemy. The Bible tells you that your enemies had you on them cargo slave ships in 1492, 1619. Right? Come on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. And the Most High sent that cruel messenger called the white man against us. Come on. In hunger. In what? In hunger. And a lot of us, our people, right, got to go to Walmart for hunger. Sam's Club for hunger. Come on. And in thirst. Come on. And in nakedness. And in want of all things. Give me verse 30. Right, give me verse 30. Come. Is one that? Verse 30. Come, bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 30. Because I got, I got news for you, black man. You built this house, but you can't even live in it. Right? The black man built the so-called White House, and he can't even live in it. No Israelite has ever led this nation. I got news for you. Barack Hussein Obama is not our people. Right? Kamala Harris is not our people. There's never been a true Israelite in that seat. Right? But we got a king coming down who's a black man with white woolly hair. And he's mad at how the nation of uh, America has treated the real Jews of the Bible, has treated the 12 tribes of Israel. Come on, King. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 30. Thou shalt be trapped a wife, uh -huh. and another man shall lie with her. And how many times did the white man take our, our women, our young women, our, our children, our young boys, right, and took them in that cabin and did God knows what to them, man? And you're going to pay for that. That's right. If you believe God is just, I don't care what you call it. If you believe that your God is just, then you must know that something's coming to America. And it, right. and it ain't Eddie Murphy, man. That's right. That's right? Right? King. Thou shalt build in house. What? Thou shalt build in house. We built the Congress. We built the White House. We built all the capitals, the state capitals, all the buildings. Right? And we did it for free. Right? We did it for free. Our children's done it. Our grandparents have done it. And we're still doing it today. Come on. Thou shalt build a house. And you know what's crazy is we got people say, taking pictures in front of this damn White House as if it's part of them, as it's part of their heritage. Nothing a part of America is your heritage, black man. Stop being so gullible and naive to try to cleave to the people that don't want to be around you, man. You are, a, it says, you are a special people unto the Lord thy God. You are a nation of kings and priests. The true governors of this world is right here in America, and it's called the Negroes of America. Come on, King. Thou shalt build a house, uh -huh. and thou shalt not dwell therein. And we shall not dwell therein. That's thus said the Lord God. Right? That is a biblical prophecy that we see who the real Jews are, who the real children of Israel is, man. That's right. Right? Yeah. Let's sit on that. Come on. Thou shalt plant a vineyard. We shall what? Shall plant a vineyard. Now look all around here. You see vineyards. You see plants. You see uh, a pottery. You see all these things that's, that's, that's planted. You got the so-called Latino man all in America that's actually cultivating the crops on stolen land right. of his own ancestors. And he got to pay on taxes. Oh. Think about sharecroppers, right? You're paying to live somewhere to do actual labor, right? Where is the justice in America going to come back and redeem the children of Israel? That's right. Come on. Yeah, right. Thou shalt plant a vineyard uh -huh. and shalt not gather the grapes uh -huh. thereof. And we shall not gather the grapes thereof. We're not going to be able to bear the fruit that our forefathers gave, man. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of Hebrews 11 and 27. Uh-huh. By faith. By what? By faith. By what? By faith. It says by faith. Right? A lot of our black women, black men go to church and they live on something called faith. But they don't understand what faith is because they cannot separate themselves from America. It says by faith. What happened? By faith, he forsook Egypt. Talking about Moses. He forsook Egypt. How many of our black men is able to forsake America today? Raise your hand That's if you're able to forsake America today, man. Right? Because if you're a true believer in God, you will forsake America. Because America is a wicked nation, and they tell you about it. This is not how we feel. This is not said the Lord. Read. By faith, he pursued Egypt. 
Come on. Not fearing the wrath of the king. And I don't care about what Joe Biden got. I don't care about Raleigh PD. I don't care about DCP. I don't care about none of that. Right. I care about the Heavenly Father. Right. I care about the Most High God, Yahweh, right. and His Son, Yahweh Shah. Right. Come on. For not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. See that? We endure seeing him who's invisible. That's the Most High God, Yahweh. Right? A lot of our people got to wake up. Right? The black man must wake up. These other nations know who they are. And these other nations already have their future plotted out for them. The Most High God told them what's going to happen. When are you going to wake up and choose your side? Right. When are we going to wake up and actually make the right decision for once in our life? Our forefathers have failed. The Bible said you will die like what? Like men. But you are gods. The black man is a god on this earth. That's right. A power. The Latino man is a god on this earth. The Native American man is a god on this earth. That's right. Right? When are you going to wake up and understand who you are in these last days? You tried everything else and it's never worked. When are you going to actually come back to this book that was written and ordained for you? Read what you got. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 11. In those days... Went there out of Israel, uh -huh. wicked men. What kind of men? Wicked men. And there's been a lot of wicked men calling your phone telling you to vote. There's a lot of wicked men going around with these prophets saying that you know, when you vote, you're going to have a, a life changing experience and your plight here in America is going to change. And guess what? We've been voting since the 60s. We've been voting since the 70s and it's never changed. As a matter of fact, it's gotten worse. They push LGBTQ, transgender, in the schools nowadays, and they have these read-alongs with the transgender to read to your children, corrupting your children's minds, man. Right? America has gotten worse through age. It's never gotten better. So does your vote really count? No. Come on, King. Wicked men. Wicked men. Come on. Who persuaded many? They did what? Persuaded many. They called your phone, tell you to vote. They call your they call your phone, tell you to cash the ballot, to register to vote. Read on. Say, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. See that? Since, since, see, see, you got men, right? You got men that we would call uh, raccoons, right? Also known as coons, right? And they go around and they try to persuade our people that when you align yourself with the white man, life's going to get better. Has that ever happened? Uh, no, we were better all segregated. Right. When the black man's in power, the righteous are, 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 are rejoicing. Right. But when the white man's in the power, the people mourn. That's right. That's right. right? The people re the people don't rejoice when this devil's in power. That's right? right? I never we don't. So this device pleased them. And only only the most high can ordain men to come out here and tell the devil to his face what we think about him That's and what the most high God thinks about him and his women too, right? Yes, y'all qualify because y'all are worse than them. Because the white woman acts as if she's innocent, but she's anything but not. Right! Right? That white woman will have you hanging from multiple trees, castrated. Read the history, black man. Learn your history and know who you are and know who you're going to go back to. We don't care. Then certain of the people were so forward here uh -huh. that they went to the king. They went to who? They went to, to the, the king. They went to this White House. Come on. Who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. You're doing the license to ordinances of the heathen. When you cast your vote and you cast for your vote for a white man or an East Indian woman, you're doing the license to the ordinances of the heathen nations. Right? The Gentiles. You are a chosen generation, black woman. Right? You are God's chosen people. And you are better than everybody. And it's time to keep these commandments and these laws and statutes and become a true daughter of Zion. Right. Not everybody can make that claim because, uh, listen, a chameleon cannot change his, 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 his DNA, but he can change his, his appearance, right? You can't change who you are in your DNA, right? This is what God told our people to come out and do and prophesy, to cry aloud and spare not. Come on, King. Whereupon they built a place of exercise. And listen, that's what I want to ask our people. Should the black man prefer uh, ten minutes, comma, com, right? Should the black man prefer his own people, right? Give me Deuteronomy seventeen fourteen, right? I'm gonna go back to the law and tell you why you shouldn't vote, black man. 
and why you should keep the commandments. Because everybody's so eager to vote, but who's eager to keep the laws of God? Right? right? Everybody's eager to go to that booth and, put, and, 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 and do that ordinance, but who's actually eager to be obedient to the Most High God? Do I have any hands? Is anybody able to, uh, ready to give their life to the Most High God? To keep his commandments, the so-called Negro in America today, the so-called Latino in America today, right? It ain't, it ain't for the white man, right? It ain't for the Chinese. It's for you, black man, right? And you got to teach your daughters and your sons how to actually reverence God, right? And that's keeping his laws, statutes, and his commandments. Read what you got, up. This is Romans 10 and 12. 12 and 10. So lock here. This is Romans 12 and 10. Be kindly affectionate, affectionate, one to another, uh -huh. and, that's, and this is the Bible, right? It says being kindly affection, affectionate to black man to black man, right? Come on. One to another with brotherly love. What love? With brotherly love. With brotherly love. Come on. In honor. And what? In honor. Does the black man honor black men today? Does the black man honor black woman today? No, right? Come on. Preferring one, say what? Preferring one uh -huh. another. We gotta prefer our own people over the other nations, man. We gotta have a real, a real preference over these other nations because the other nations prefer them over you. That's right. The so-called East Indian or the, the Arab will go in your hood and sell you swishing sweets and swear you malt, malt liquor for you to go home and get high out your mind and get drunk and beat your wife and abuse your children and think nothing of it and take that money and go right back home and drive his Range Rover, live in that nice home. And where you at? You in the hood, right? You out there where there's no ceiling in your own house, right? I've been to West Baltimore, right? I've seen the, uh, uh, many, many parts of this nation and it's nothing to be proud of, man. How do you be proud to be an American when America is not proud of you? Right? Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17, verse 14. When thou art come unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, and shalt possess it, and shalt dwell therein, and shalt say, I will set a king over me. Now, real quick, Miss, Miss White Lady, just understand you're taking pictures of the gods of this earth. You can take a picture, just understand that these are the gods of this earth, and these, we, we are your future masters and your future rulers, okay? Understand that whether you like it, love it, believe it or not. We are God's chosen people, okay? So when you take pictures of us, understand who you're dealing with, all right? Okay? All praises. We don't care. I will set a king over me. So when you want to go out there and vote and set a king over you, come on. Like as all the nations, you want to be like all the other nations, come on that are about me, Come on. thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, Come on. whom the Lord thy God shall choose. So the Most High God is supposed to choose a king, right? Not you. The Most High God's going to choose that king. Read. One from among thy brethren. Read. From, from among thy brethren. Who, who, who must we vote for? From among thy brethren. So from among the brothers, the 12 tribes of Israel. Come on. Shalt thou set king over thee? Come on. Thou mayest not. They mouse what? Thou mayest not. not. This is a commandment. Thou mayest not. Come on. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee. You see that? You cannot set the other nations. Don't vote for Donald Trump. Don't vote for Camilla Harris. Because they are not our people. Yes. Come on. Which is not thy brother. Come on. But he shall not multiply horses. Right, read what you got. I'm gonna end it right here. This is th this is Jeremiah 30 and 22. Come on, and ye shall be my people. And we shall what? And ye shall, shall be, be my, my people. people. We're saying out here that we that the so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, right? The 12 tribes of Israel will be God's chosen people. Is God's chosen people, and has always been God's chosen people. Come on. And ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Come on. Behold. The whirlwind of the Lord go forth uh -huh. with fury. With what? With, with fury. fury. With fury. God's coming back with fury. Come on. A continuing whirlwind. Uh -huh. It shall fall with pain upon the head. Well, it's going to come with pain upon the head. Mm. America's going to get blown. Go back and watch Independence Day when they right. blew that White House up, That's man. Right. Like that chariot hovered right above that White House and blew it the smithereens. That's right. Right? That's coming to America. Come That's on. Right.
Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord goes forth with fury, Come on. a continuing whirlwind. Uh -huh. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. Mm -hmm. Of the who? Of, of the, the wicked. wicked. Yeah, these other nations are wicked, man. And with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh. Right. And I do so, and the name of his only begotten Son, Hamashiach Yahweh Shad. Right. With that, I say Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.